Thanks, guys. Um, so I'm Crystal Martin. I am the organizer of Coder Girl and the Community and Education Engagement Manager at Launch Code. Um, just very quick, Launch Code is an organization here in St. Louis that gives people jobs in tech. So Coder Girl is an extension of that. And I like to say we're kind of like a rap group right now. So like everyone on the stage is not going to talk, but like they're the hype men because Coder Girl is really a hype men and women. Because um, Coder Girl is really a community effort. This is not something that I organize every week. This is something that we collectively make happen. So what is Coder Girl? Well, Coder Girl is an all-women's programming meetup. Like I said, it happens every Wednesday here in St. Louis. And what we are focusing on is just getting more women in tech in the space here and network in St. Louis. And so we encourage that connection and community, and we also encourage learning. And so just to talk a little bit about the learning tracks that we have at Coder Girl. Oh, a little fan here. Um, so every week at Coder Girl, we have these learning tracks, and so we are working on a variety of different languages and frameworks. One of them, we are using the Harvard Intro to Computer Science course, um, foundational course to get people started in tech. Um, Java with Jenny back here. Jenny is an awesome mentor, and she's going to talk about her project later on, but she has developed a course on Udemy that takes you from knowing nothing about Java to being able to build projects in Java. And then we have a SQL servers and databases group. We have an awesome mentor named Kathy Kellenberger, who is like the SQL guru, and she's teaching women SQL at Coder Girl. And then we have a web development and design group, which we are also going to have some presentations on. And we also have hardware hacking with Arduinos with Jessica. So we're playing around with some of that stuff and coming up with cool projects for that in the next quarter. So I will let the mentors take it away. All right. I was totally not informed that this picture was going to be on the slide. Um, <laughs> um, I'm Helena Converse. I've been working with the web development and design group. Um, basically, our goal in doing this is trying to take web development and making it something so that it's not quite so hurdly to get into it, because there's a lot of different languages and frameworks that are involved in just making a simple web page that like, looks pretty. Um, so we basically go through and take people through HTML, CSS, um, we're taking people the PHP route for doing backend, and then sticking JavaScript in on front of that. Um, and for our project this year, we wound up going through, I guess it was this semester, uh, we wound up going through and actually started building us a Coder Girl website, as opposed to just having like a page on Launch Code's page. So we're hoping to really get that picked up and running so that we can get stuff out. And over there, all the way on the right, is our Coder Girl website 1.0 <laughs> celebration. Do you want to show the website? Yeah. yeah. You have it up? We're going to show the website. So this website is all oh. <laughs> mirroring. Right. Right. Oh. There we go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> all right. So what we wound up doing for the website was just going through and figuring out what the base things that we needed. Um, we had some fun designs going through and getting that all set out. Um, and then the coder girls were going and looking at that and figuring out how to make it run. And one thing that makes me very proud is from step one, they decided to do mobile um, responsive as well. So I am very proud of them. That's it. I'm good. Who's up next? I'm up next. Jenny. Jenny. Get back to the slides. There you go. So I am introducing people to Java development, uh, as there's quite a quite an offering for jobs in that area and quite a need for developers. One of the things I noticed was that classes tend to have a gap. So they introduce you to programming, they introduce you to object-oriented design. And then there's this big technology gap before you're ready for a job. You need to pick up databases. You need to pick up web development. You need to pick up full stack. And so along with that comes all of the teamwork. You need Git. You need revision control. You need to know how to work with the ticketing system and how to plan and scope your work and do it iteratively. And the classes don't really cover that very well. You need a team. You need to be working with a team. So team projects are the second step in this learning process for the folks who are learning Java. On the team projects, they divide into small groups, three to five people, and come up with their own idea for an application. 
and then based on their interests, they spec out what it's going to include. I help them keep it to a small version to begin with so we can do it iteratively. And then from there, we figure out what technologies do you need to do this? What do you need to go learn to get comfortable with those technologies? And how are we going to break this down for a group to be able to work on together? So I've got two groups right now who are working on team projects. One of them is doing a roommate finance tracker, and the other is doing a recipe program. And they're encountering a lot of interesting details along the way that result in people pairing result in people researching stuff and bringing it back and presenting it to teammates. And these are all skills that are doing a great job of getting them ready for their, for their jobs. And in fact, out of eight people currently working on team projects, I believe three of them have been placed in jobs and one is very close to doing so. So we've got a pretty good success rate going here. Uh, so the team environment really does a lot to help them keep moving along. After you're past the basic academics of what is programming and what do I do with it, there's how do I serve my teammates and how do we build something awesome together? And so supporting this team project process has really given them encouragement to look beyond what they've encountered, to reach out to the hard stuff and learn cool new stuff and be ready to go on the job. So that's been my focus with the Java team projects. Hey, my name is Ricky, and I help lead the project that is the continuation of CS50. For those of you who don't know, CS50 is the Harvard's Introduction to Computer Science class. It is taught in C, and that provides, you know, a bit of limitation on what we can do afterwards. And for my project, at least, uh, we kind of just, you know, come together, we come up with ideas, and I let them kind of, you know, just brainstorm what they want to do without the limitation of technology. And then we take their idea and move it forward. In this case, uh, we decided to make a game. Uh, we tried to imitate asteroids, if somebody would like to plug that in. And we did it in Ruby. And if we can show it. I also like to thank Jay down there, who's uh, part of Lambda Lounge, who, was, uh, who came on as a random mentor who helped a lot with the project. And cats. Do it for me. Yeah. Oh, this is probably not going to work because the resolution is hard coded because we never got that far. But surprise, <laughs> it's asteroids. Going over some of the details of the projects, uh, roughly we're trying to structure it as a quarter system. So. The teams have, you know, about 12-ish weeks to come up with their ideas, get it working, go through the technology, go through, the, you know, those trials and tribulations that really help you become a good programmer <laughs> and learn all the tools required for it. That's Coda Girl in a box. Keep in touch with us. Like I said, it's an awesome program. Everyone who's on this stage has done so much to make it awesome. And we have so much fun every week. There are 35 to 40 Coda Girls who show up every week. We have 15 to 20 mentors who show up who are professional programmers here at companies here in St. Louis. And so it's a lot of fun. If you're in the area, come and join us. We'll be at the CIC, which is on 4240 Duncan in the Cortex area every Wednesday, 6 to 8. And you can get involved anyway if you want to come as a mentor, if you want to come just as a participant, hang out, be a photographer. Um, if you're not in the St. Louis area and you like what we do, promote us, make other people excited about this. And so we are on the Slack channel. You can talk about it. Um, we can hang out here at Strange Loop. Um, that's our website on the Launch Co. website. Um, Coder Girl one will be up very soon. Um, if you have any questions, you want to reach out, that's the email address. And we're on Facebook, Twitter, and meetup.com. Thanks so much for your attention.